It's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. We're focusing on God and His Word. I am calling this one, Why Try to Understand? Why Try to Understand? I'm going to read Proverbs 20, 24 from the NLT. Proverbs 20, verse 24 from the NLT. And it says, The Lord directs our steps. So why try to understand everything along the way? Again, the Lord directs our steps. So why try to understand everything along the way? And so with this scripture, as you have heard me say in other videos, I do my best to do whatever I can with the scripture. From memorizing it to to using it, to repeating it. Just different days I feel led to do different um, things with it. But I make sure the scripture is in use like daily. I was like, okay, this is my scripture. Not that I don't read anything else or that I don't think about other scripture, however. But it helps me utilize God's word. So that's all I'm doing, sharing with you my own journey. And so it's almost like, okay, Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm growing myself. And while I'm growing, maybe my journey could help someone else on their journey. So... This this scripture here, the Lord directs our steps. So what's interesting that I have like started to like notice over the course of doing these videos and focusing on God and his word is that it seems like whatever scripture I use that week, like I really have to put it into play. Like something comes up, something happens, a circumstance, or something's like almost like okay. You're saying this and you say you're focusing on this or you're really utilizing this scripture. So, for example, like this one, the Lord directs our steps. So I try to understand everything along the way. Uh, this, uh, a, a couple of days ago, I um, went to, I went to go get something to eat. And when I went to go get something to eat, I was going to go to this event. But when I got there, you know, there's not going to be a lot of people that are like, mm, they want to go there. So I left that place. Went to another place. When I got that place, oh, it was even more people. I was like, okay, everybody's out. <laughs> so, mm, don't want to do that. So, anyhow, I ended up going to another place where it was a lot less people. And it was um, it was awesome. The people had everything together doing the people. Um, they were people of the um, the Lord, God's own um, soldiers, or however. And it was just interesting to see how the people... They were not saying, I guess, sharing God's love and what they were doing at this uh, event. But what I got a chance to see was like a spirit in operation. <laughs> when I say a spirit, a person looked like a spirit was using in operation. And what I'm saying is that by changing events or changing places like three times, not really um, feeling led to be here or been there, end up at a place that felt like good to my spirit to my you know my soul and i get a chance to see a person look like a look like a, a spirit dealing with you know in some kind of way and when i got my vehicle the person happened to be walking past my vehicle and the person looked at me and asked me a question you know and i look because i'm like okay the person did not look like someone that should be around you know this type of event and so I looked at it and she asked me, do you know where a wig store is, uh, a wig store? And I was like, no, like in, in this area, which was odd because I never know a wig store to be in the area. Not there's not one in the area because where I was, it's like really no stores or anything. Like there really no stores or anything. I mean, it's like down further. You could drive down further, further but like she was walking. But I was like, that's odd, you know? And so I was like, no, I don't. I'm sorry. And she just kind of kept walking. And so what I noticed was when I, you know, and I wasn't at the, the event long. And when I was there, the, um, the event was, it was outside. And when I um, was there, what I noticed about the lady, she just hung around the event. And she like stood across, you know, it was, um, it was an event that this church was having, but it was out, I'm saying outdoor. It was outdoor. And it was like, okay. I hadn't planned on going to like I said, this this church, but that's what I ended up being led to led to this church. I said because I was at like a restaurant, get some eat, and I was gonna stay there. But anyhow, 
I ended up at this this church that had this stuff set up out, um, outdoor for kids. And and so while we was there, like a little fall festival type, um, fall festival type thing. And they said, uh, and when I was there, this lady that asked me about the wig, what I noticed, she just kind of hung around the church. She wasn't on the church property. She just kind of hung across the street. Now, there's several other churches up the street that was closed, not that wasn't doing anything. And what I could tell was, it looked like, it's like, it's like the Lord wanted me to see that, that these people are trying to do something good, trying to do something, you know, for the community to be safe, for the little kids. And this spirit was like half, like naked. Like you literally could see her, like her bottom and her chest and everything. And like, like she may have been someone that, that uh, possibly, you know, I don't know. First of all, I thought maybe it was a costume, <laughs> but then I was like, no, that's just, I don't know. Like, that's just how she's. Um, she's the only person you know I seen <laughs> like that but she just kind of stayed uh, across the road but she stayed exactly in front of where all the little kids were but she wasn't on the church property and it's like almost like she was toning she was sitting there she like had a legs like wide open open it was just like you know she already kind of like half like half naked and and it's like okay and it makes you think at the moment okay Lord we're doing the right thing now should we be going over there to you know minister this one maybe she need but you know, mm, but you know how you have to be guided by you know the Holy Spirit. It's like mm, this woman really don't need help. She's here taunting this these people. They're doing something good with all these little kids, and it's like she's taunting these people for that what they got organized, they got planned, put spending their money and their time to show God's love, and whatever spirit driving her is going to sit across the road and just sit there and let it all hang out. <laughs> so. Me, I start thinking like, okay, I don't know if they, she's already talked to someone here or what deal is, but finally, someone went over there. Like I said, she could have been in the whole while, I don't know. Someone went over there, they looked like it was from the um the church, and they bought her a glass, uh, not a glass of water, but a bottle of water, and like they tried to minister to it. And as soon as they got over there, of course, you know, she stood up and like, gotta go. Like, I'm gotta go. I don't know what she said, but she started to walking off. So they stood there like looking at her, and she kept um walking, and... I was headed back to my car. So by the time I got in the car, um, you see the lady coming back. The people had left and went back across to the church. She come back to the same spot. And this time she just bent it all over <laughs> towards the kids. They tooled it up. Like, oh my. You know, really. And she had like she was digging in the grass looking for something. I don't really believe she had anything to look for. Maybe she did. I don't know. But it was like quite a show. And I was like, this is a spirit. You no, know, I'm in operation here using this, this female to be a nuisance for this this event. And and where I live, you don't even really see a whole lot of people walk around like that. You know, because it's not a, like a large, large, you know, it's a big city. But, you know, it's not like the really, really, really big cities or whatever. And so with, um, so with that, it was just interesting to see. But it made you question. You said, okay, God, am I doing this? Am I handling it right? You know? You know, is it something that you want me to do or say? But then when you feel like mm, that this person really don't want help. This person is like just been been used. And she I said she carried on for quite a while. And like I said, she sat down and had a legs open and spray. Just I mean, just doing uh doing stuff. But finally, um, when I was like I said, getting to my vehicle, I saw the police rider on um, by and. And saying no, and she was walking back, and she had tooted over and been over, you know, basically almost mooning the church, <laughs> mooning all the little kids, or whatever. She, she, um, she goes down the walk, the um, walking, and she's about to trip because she has high, high, high heels on, and uh, like I said, and everything was hanging out. If she'd have failed, you, I guess, saw more of it, but she was walking on, and the police end up talking to her, so I don't know what happened with that, but. Been able to see stuff like that it's just like for me as far as the spiritual side been interesting because that's not somewhere i was planning on going never been for in my life but i end up like three different places just been you know saying being led and actually another woman i, mean, I didn't go way into the store another woman that didn't know me she told me about this place and i said well i saw it but i didn't you know and i mean i thought about it but I, don't know, I don't know if i'm gonna go out there or whatever but you know i ain't about there but i got a chance to not only have a good save time and feel like the love of God but to see how when you're doing things for the Lord or within the Lord however and you are on a journey you know if it's a church as, as in a whole if it's just a person an individual 
Satan can use people to try to, how can I say, make make something bad or negative, or give it a bad experience. And like with this young lady, it's like you, it's almost like you knew she didn't want to help. And when those people went to talk to her, she like I said she got up, she got up and left. But then it's almost she came back and tooted it over. Like okay, I'll, you know, you know what I'm saying. So I know if they went over there and they come to church, I'm I'm assuming they probably talked about it. she needed help. You know, no Christ, no Lord. She probably didn't want to hear any and that. But I couldn't figure out for like, well, I know why now. But I'm like, why is she standing right here in front of her? Why is she sitting right here? It's, it's two or three miles long road. You can just go anywhere. It's a convenience store up the road. It's here, there. But in this other church, there's nobody's there. You know, it's not, you know. But she wanted to sit there and irritate the people. And because they know, she knew they were having an, an event there. And because like I said, she didn't even ask me for money. She asked me what a wig store was, which was odd. Like I said, which was odd, all that. But with that, all I'm saying is sometimes, you know, things don't make make sense. And we may be like, okay, I'm here and I'm getting led to go here. And this not working. Now I'm here. And sometimes God, you know, it may not be something he's just trying to give you. It may be a lesson he's showing you that whenever, not just you or anybody else, when you're trying to do something, Lord, sometimes you have like, these peer, people that's been been used by you know these spirits and they don't even know you know they to be a nuisance to 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 get all the attention you know to take the attention away from what you're doing with the kids to look at me I'm over here like showboating and carrying on you got this hanging out and you don't have it she had no reason to be I mean right there sitting in the grass she was in the chair she was sitting on the side of the uh, road but you know, I don't know, like I said, what happened to her. But it was a good lesson to me to see. I never seen that. And I never seen a person even dressed like that, you know, where, um, you know, not in the broad daylight. <laughs> where I live. So I was like, okay, she, and then to be on that street is not where, hmm, so I don't know where she was coming from, what she was doing. But it was a, I can say, I, I opened it for, to, uh, to me to see that how, you can just tell that something was using her. A spirit was using her to be a nuisance to these people that had put their money and their time and effort to do something nice for a community. And here comes Satan using somebody to disgust people and, and, and to, you know, make it not good for like little kids to be able to look at or whatever. So, but going back to the Bible verse, the Lord directs our steps. So I try to understand everything along the way. So along the way, while I'm going from this place, that place, like I said, I end up to this was my third stop after I got something to eat. And I was like, so I'm playing. Brenda, I was like, because I was like, not trying to be around a whole bunch of people. And got somewhere that felt right. And everything felt great about it. Didn't get a chance to see a person being used by spirit. Which is, that's, that's good for a person like myself to um to see because you never know when it's going to happen and it gives you a chance to learn and grow and then to help someone else that may you know that may happen to or that that come and, and you can see that people that's on this journey so if you're on this journey know that other people can be used to try to taint what you're doing and like this woman here i feel like she was being used to try to taint what these people were doing so just just stay with lord and stay um focused and ask god what should i be learning from this okay am i discerning lord am i supposed to be helping this person talking to this person or this per somebody just out here just carrying on um want, want attention and they really don't want to help but discernment would help you grow in this and discernment helps is helping me and i'm continuing to grow in the things of the lord and discerning so i'm gonna pray father i come to you Stand on Proverbs 20, 24. And your word said, the Lord directs our steps. So why try to understand everything along the way? Father, thank you for the great lesson I have. Just even though I didn't know where I was headed, what I was going to do. And it felt like no place was working. And when I found the perfect place, Father, you gave a great lesson. To see how people can just really be used and try to tank things and to do things and your soldier's life. So, Father, I ask that you continue to help me to grow in these things and, and learn to not try to understand everything along the way, that you will make it clear when you want to make whatever clear. So, Father, I thank you and I love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, just know along the way, don't try to understand everything. Just go with the flow. And when it feels good inside, and feel like the Holy Spirit is saying, yes, this is what you're supposed to be or this is what you're supposed to be doing, go with that. Um, discern whatever you need to discern and just continue to grow in the things of God. If you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you have a relationship, all you have to do is continue to grow, 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 grow. Be the brightest light you can be. Read your Bible and walk in obedience. And.
pray, pray, pray. Talk to God as much as you can. I'm Dr. Lee. Thanks for watching. Let go, let God, and keep it moving. Take care.